thing I haven't told you about is just part of why I don't really make much of this anymore. I had a really strong motivation when I was a witness. So here's me. People think that their choices are to become worldly and lose the truth or be creative. There's a safe space for them to be creative where they can do both. It could save them. You didn't have to think that you had to become a worldly person in order to be creative. Then you could um, you could do both. You could still, you know, love Jehovah and, uh, and, and not be miserable. Um, and then when I left for a few years, it was like I had to get out all my feelings about what happened. And then it was like, now, I don't really know what my motivation is. In my 40s, I'm not trying to be a rock star. I make music only for myself. I'm not trying to save some uh, space, safe space for creativity for a bunch of kids who are waiting for Armageddon. So it's like, I don't really have a motivation anymore. So I just record if I feel like it. Well, it's kind of weird though, because it's a little, you know, it's like a little, a little disheartening. Because uh, I put all this effort into this nuclear girlfriend thing to get all of all this energy and to, to make it all seem um, like an option. fizzled out and now I feel like if I make music it's really just for me and that feels selfish compared to when it felt like it was for a big community. And like the idea that there were other people who believed what we believed and who cared about what we cared about but who also wanted to do something creative was like a connection to people that was more real than just oh we both follow the watchtower. You know, it was like every time you discover like somebody else wants to make music, it was like, holy crap, this like, we all want to do this magic thing, you know? And then now, everybody's worldly, you know? <laughs> it's just like the world is just the thing that I live in, like a normal person. And then if I was 20 and I thought, you know, I want to change the world, um, it would be one thing. But I'm kind of like, well, I changed the world in a way, and that's cool. I don't really feel like I have some big drive anymore, you know? And I'm actually okay with that. Like, that's why I, now I'm just like, I got dogs and I got some old cars. I'm restoring a Fiat Spider and an old Triumph and I live out in the country and it's pretty cool. Like, I'm like, I'm happy with my life, but it was like kind of weird. Like, I sometimes sit there and I'm like, why don't I record more music? Why don't I get more active? And I'm like, man, because who am I playing this for? <laughs> I knew why I was doing Nuclear Gopher. Like, I knew exactly what the goal was. It was like, show that you can do this because we're doing it and other people want to do it. And if we all agree we can do it, then we can do it. And nobody can tell us we can't. It's not against any rules. You know, it was pretty awesome. And then it's like, now it's just like, well, nobody's telling you you can't make music, of course. There's nothing to rebel against there. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. I just, I've kind of lost... I've, I'm, I'm very happy with my life, but I kind of lost my mojo a little bit in the music thing, which is probably why The Wolf is at the Door never fucking gets recorded, but I'll live with it.